Welcome to Tornado Extreme, your ultimate source of all things tornado related. Today, we dive into the world of tornadoes for our young audience. So let's kick off our journey with a whirl through tornado history and some fascinating facts. Tornadoes have been spinning across our planet for thousands of years. The first recorded tornado was way back in the 8th century. Isn't that a long time ago? Now, on to some cool facts. Did you know a tornado can travel over water, land, and even mountain ranges? It's true. And they're not just a gust of wind, they're a powerful force of nature. Tornadoes can reach speeds of over 300 miles per hour. That's faster than a cheetah, the fastest land animal. Tornadoes are also pretty diverse. They come in all shapes and sizes, from narrow funnels just a few feet across, to massive wedges over a mile wide. That was a quick overview of the history and some basic facts about tornadoes. Have you ever wondered where the word tornado comes from? The term tornado has an intriguing history that dates back hundreds of years. Its roots can be traced to the Spanish word tronada, which means thunderstorm. This term was then altered to tornada, referring to a turning or twisting movement. But the story doesn't end there. In the late 16th century, the word tornado began to take shape. The word torner, meaning to turn, was combined with tornada. Over time, the word evolved into the term we're familiar with today, tornado. This term was gradually adopted into English, and by the 17th century, it was widely used to describe these powerful spinning storms. Despite their destructive nature, there's no denying the captivating allure of tornadoes, and the word itself reflects their dynamic and twisting character. So, that's the fascinating origin of the word tornado. Tornadoes can occur on every continent, but do you know where they occur the most? Let's delve into that. Starting with North America, it's the undisputed champion of tornado occurrences, thanks to the United States Tornado Alley. South America isn't far behind with countries like Argentina experiencing their fair share of twisters. In Europe, the United Kingdom holds the title for the highest number of reported tornadoes per unit area. Down under in Australia, they're less common, but still pack a punch when they do appear. Asia sees tornadoes too, particularly in Bangladesh and parts of India. Africa has tornadoes, especially around South Africa. And while it may surprise you, even Antarctica has recorded tornado-like phenomena, though it's extremely rare. So there you have it. From the freezing poles to the equatorial regions, tornadoes can and do happen. It's a testament to nature's power and unpredictability. Those are the continents where tornadoes commonly occur. In the United States, tornadoes are not uncommon. But do you know which state experiences the most? Well, buckle up because we're heading to Tornado Alley, a region in the central part of the country that is frequently visited by these swirling spectacles of nature. Here, one state stands out from the rest, and that state is Texas. That's right. The Lone Star State has the dubious honor of being the state with the most tornadoes each year. Its vast size and geographical location make it a prime spot for tornado formation. Now you might be thinking, but wait, I thought Kansas was the tornado capital. And while Kansas does indeed see a lot of tornado activity, Texas has it beat in terms of sheer numbers. This is due to Texas's larger size, giving tornadoes more room to form in Rome. So that's the state with the highest number of tornadoes in the US. Quite a whirlwind of a fact, wouldn't you say? Let's travel back in time to when the first tornado ever occurred. Picture this, the 17th century in the New World, specifically Massachusetts. The date, July 14, 1634. This is the earliest recorded sighting of a tornado in the history books. But let's be clear, this wasn't the first tornado to ever occur, just the first one that we have documentation of. The settlers of New England, not quite accustomed to the extreme weather phenomena of their new home, were taken by surprise. This tornado reportedly caused extensive damage to the colonial settlements, uprooting trees and destroying homes. But what's interesting is that this event led to a better understanding of these weather phenomena. It sparked curiosity and led to further research and observations, ultimately helping us understand and predict tornadoes. That's a brief history of the first recorded tornado. Now let's talk about the most destructive tornado ever recorded. This title goes to the infamous tornado that hit Joplin, Missouri in the United States on the 22nd of May, 2011. This catastrophic event was rated an EF5, the highest possible rating on the enhanced Fujita scale. The Joplin tornado was a mile wide and traveled a total of 22 miles through the heart of the city, leaving a path of total destruction in its wake. It reached wind speeds of over 200 miles per hour. The devastation was beyond comprehension, it flattened entire neighborhoods, 
claimed 161 lives and caused damages estimated at around $2.8 billion. The Joplin tornado serves as a stark reminder of the immense power and potential destructiveness of tornadoes, demonstrating the importance of understanding and respecting these formidable forces of nature. The power of tornadoes is truly astonishing, isn't it? From destruction to fatalities, let's talk about the deadliest tornado ever. This dreadful title goes to the Dalitpur Saturia tornado, which ripped through Bangladesh on the 26th of April, 1989. This small country in South Asia, a region not typically known for tornadoes, suffered the most devastating blow in tornado history. The tornado was an astounding mile wide and cut a 50-mile path of destruction through the Maniganj district. But what truly marks this event as the deadliest is the staggering loss of life. An estimated 1,300 people lost their lives, making it the single most lethal tornado event on record. In addition to the human toll, tens of thousands of homes were destroyed and countless livestock were lost, making the aftermath a scene of utter devastation. The Dalitpur Saturia tornado stands as a grim reminder of the tremendous power nature can unleash. That was the deadliest tornado ever recorded. Tornadoes are known for their distinct appearance and behavior. These fascinating yet fearsome forces of nature typically take the form of a visible condensation funnel, with the narrow end touching the earth and the wider end connected to a cloud. They can vary greatly in size from just a few feet across to more than a mile in diameter. The behavior of tornadoes is just as captivating as their appearance. They often move erratically, changing direction without warning. The speed at which they travel can also vary, ranging from nearly stationary to over 70 miles per hour. One of the most intriguing aspects of tornado behavior is their rotation. In the northern hemisphere, tornadoes usually rotate in a counterclockwise direction, while those in the southern hemisphere often rotate clockwise. This is due to the Coriolis effect, a phenomenon caused by the Earth's rotation. That's a bit about how tornadoes look and behave. Their unique appearance and unpredictable behavior truly make tornadoes one of nature's most awe-inspiring spectacles. Are tornadoes always gray? Let's find out. Now, you might picture tornadoes as monstrous gray whirlwinds, and you're not entirely wrong. However, tornadoes can actually be different colors, and it all depends on the environment they form in. Tornadoes are essentially shaped by the debris and dust they pick up, along with the moisture in the air. So, a tornado passing over a field might have a brownish hue due to the soil, while one over water could appear more white or gray. The time of day also plays a role in their coloration. During sunset, for example, the low angle of sunlight can cast a golden or even a pinkish glow on tornadoes. Amazing, right? But remember, regardless of their color, tornadoes are powerful and dangerous natural phenomena that should always be taken seriously. So, tornadoes can be of different colors, not just gray. Make sure to stay tuned for more fascinating facts about tornadoes on Tornado Extreme. Do tornadoes only occur on land? Let's debunk this myth. Tornadoes are not picky when it comes to their playgrounds. They can form wherever there's unstable air and wind conditions, be it over land or water. When a tornado forms over water, it's often referred to as a water spout. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? But don't be fooled, water spouts are every bit as formidable as their land-bound cousins. They can wreak havoc on boats and coastal areas. Now, it's important to note that not all water spouts are tornadoes. Some form in fair weather and are typically much less severe. But the ones that do form from thunderstorms those are true water-dwelling tornadoes. So, to answer our initial question, tornadoes do not discriminate between land and sea. They can and do occur in both environments, proving once again that Mother Nature is full of surprises. Tornadoes can indeed occur both on land and over water. Do tornadoes always rotate in the same direction? It's a question that has surely crossed the minds of those curious about these swirling spectacles of nature. The answer is, not necessarily. In the Northern Hemisphere, tornadoes usually spin counterclockwise, while in the Southern Hemisphere, they typically rotate clockwise. This is due to the Coriolis effect, a phenomenon caused by the Earth's rotation. However, it's essential to remember that tornadoes are rebellious by nature. They don't always follow the rules. There are instances where tornadoes in the Northern Hemisphere have been observed rotating clockwise, and vice versa in the Southern Hemisphere. These are called anticyclonic tornadoes, and while they're less common, they're just as fascinating. What determines the direction of rotation? It's all about the storm's environment and the local winds at the time the tornado forms. So, 
While there's a general rule, tornadoes remind us that nature often has a spin of its own. So, the direction of a tornado's rotation can vary. Ever wondered what happens inside a tornado? Well, let's delve into the eye of the storm. Picture a swirling mass of air, chaos in motion. The winds inside a tornado are ferocious, reaching speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. That's faster than a high-speed train. Inside, the conditions are incredibly volatile. The pressure drops dramatically, which can cause your ears to pop as if you're on a fast-descending airplane. The temperature also drops, making the inside of a tornado surprisingly chilly. Amidst this chaos, debris of all sizes whirls around, picked up by the intense winds. Imagine the strongest wind you've ever felt, then multiply that by a hundred. The sound is deafening, like a freight train passing right by you. It's a whirlwind of noise, pressure, and motion. Yet at the very center, the eye of the tornado, there's a calmness, a strange tranquility amidst the storm. That's a glimpse into what happens inside a tornado. How long does a tornado last? That's a question with a whirlwind of answers. Tornadoes are nature's most violent storms, but their lifespan is surprisingly brief. On average, a tornado may only last about 10 minutes. However, this duration can vary significantly. Several factors influence a tornado's lifespan. The weather conditions, the temperature, and the landscape all play a part. In ideal conditions, a tornado can last over an hour. But in less favorable circumstances, it might only exist for a few brief, yet destructive seconds. As quickly as they form, tornadoes also dissipate. When the warm, moist air feeding the storm is exhausted, the tornado begins to shrink. It will then rope out, becoming skinny and twisted before finally disappearing. This process can be as rapid as the tornado's formation. In the end, the life of a tornado is as unpredictable as its path. So, tornadoes can last from a few seconds to over an hour. This brings us to the end of our journey through the fascinating world of tornadoes. Today, we've traveled through tornado history, learned about their occurrences worldwide, and delved into their intriguing behavior. We've unraveled the mysteries of their color, rotation, and what happens inside these powerful forces of nature. The journey doesn't stop here. Don't forget to subscribe to Tornado Extreme and visit our website tornadoextreme.com for more exciting tornado facts. Stay safe and stay curious.